Welcome back to Anderton's TV. Prepare yourself for a BB King inspired epic deals. And please like and subscribe. BB King. King of the blues. No one can um, play like BB. No one can play like him. That's uh, the way it the, is. The phrasing, his voice, the mixture of the two, his stage presence. Is that you? It probably is, yeah. There you go. He's, Everything. He's the daddy. Yeah. Right? Anyway. He is. Um, do you know what? I don't actually know whereabouts BB King kind of comes in terms of the, the history of signature guitars for Les uh, for Gibson. Obviously, I was going to say, obviously, Les Paul was the first one. Yeah. Um, I but don't know. The Lucille's been around, I think, since maybe even the... No, I don't know, actually. I know the history of Lucille. Do you know, do you know the history no, of the no, guitar? No, no, I don't know. Tell me. So who. playing in a club in the 50s. Yeah. And two guys start having a fight in the in the bar. Oh yeah. The, the, yeah the, 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 they kick over the, the sort of kerosene heater, that like the barrel, if you like, in the middle of the room that was heating yeah. up the room. The venue catches fire. Everybody runs out. BB King goes, oh my God, I've left my guitar inside. Um, so he goes back into the burning building, rescues the guitar, um, finds out later that the girl these two guys were fighting over was called Lucille. So nicknames his guitar, and not just the one guitar, every guitar after that he called Lucille. So it's not like, I don't know, some guitar players, Joe Bonamassa, like it's one guitar that has a certain name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, so his all his guitars are called Lucille. Lucille. And uh, and that's the legend, basically, wow, of how is, Lucille a, was born. But how about the, the non nefo thing? Where did that come from? The, Do you know? You know what? Maybe we'll flash it up on screen now. I forget when the Lucille first came out. But the Lucille is based on a Gibson 355, yeah. which is was is like a... Um, think of like the Les Paul Custom to the Les Paul Standard. The 355 is like that to Blinged a 335. Blinged up. Um, so you had some of the, the, the differences on a 355 would have been the, the Veritone circuit, which we'll go into in a minute. Ebony board with the block inlays and all the binding. I love blocks. But yeah, he asked for a couple of um, changges to the 355. So he didn't want F-holes because he believed the F-holes caused feedback problems on stage. Yeah. So he didn't but want F-holes. still hollow, right? Still, still yeah, center blocks yeah. down the middle. Um, and it has this fine tuning um, tailpiece here, which is almost like, you know, <laughs> it's a little bit of a nod towards Floyd Rose exactly. or something on his guitar. So yes, you've got these these little uh, black screw heads here will move backwards and forwards the uh, final sort of position of uh, the string in the tailpiece. And so yeah, you, you can tune from here or you can tune from here. Um, and look at this here. You've got that. So, you know, you can take that off and, and easily get into the, uh, that's always a nightmare on, uh, on if you want to change pickups out or anything like that. I know they have you know a what? plate here, yeah, but yeah. you can't get in from the, right. when you do, I think the um, 335s don't have this, do they? They must do. No, I don't think they do. Oh yeah. Every time, I mean, this is not, this is not. So this from is a, a maintenance perspective, you can yeah. get to all the pots and the switch and everything like that. Yeah. So um, I've decided to, oh, I dropped my plectrum, let's grab another one. I'm using a, a Fender Tone Master Twin. I know uh, BB King fans out there will know that he had his Lab Series kind of solid state. Yeah, he played a lot of solid state stuff, yeah. But I'm sure prior to that, the twin was his go-to yeah. amplifier. So we've used the Tone Master version. You'll notice there are no mics in front of this because we are using the line out on the Tone Master. It sounds really, really good. It's great. Pete's still into the Freeman Little Sister. Yeah. Um, twin Little Sister. Uh, was I using any pedals? I think I was just using the Victory uh, Duchess Boost just to give us a bit of fatness. But, yeah. and, I, and actually what was really handy on the, the Tone Master 
It's BB sound. We, we, it's not as clean as you would think. There's definitely a little bit of that natural compression that you get yep. just as you kind of push a tube amp a little bit more. So we were using the attenuator on the back mm. of this and actually running it reasonably hot. Uh, I think anyway, it's just loud. I think he just played loud. I think it wasn't. I mean, yeah. you realize as well as you start playing any, probably all those kind of old blues kings, but you know, especially BB. It's like if ever there was a player where the tones all in here. I mean, crikey, it doesn't get yeah. much more than BB. He plugged into a uh, Helix um, or anything like that. He yeah. would sound the same. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, I don't know. He was around during that technology. Maybe if he'd been a few years younger, he might have gone down the sort of you know the quad few, cortex. A few years, uh, like fifty years <laughs> younger, maybe. So. The reason we're doing this is there's an epic deal. I'm not even entirely sure I know why there's an epic deal on this. Maybe it's end of line. I'm not sure. I but don't know. Uh, anyway, just the just the, the black uh, version of this. I know there's a, a white and a, more recently a sort of a limited red version of this, but just the black version. Uh, the epic deal will flash up on screen now. I believe it's reduced to something like six hundred and. Fifty pounds or something like that, mm. which is which is pretty epic. Uh, has a beautiful uh, Epi Light case with it, which again we shall flash on screen now. Comes included in the price. That's it. Um, wow. And when they're gone, they are gone. Well, there you go. So it's right behind you there. It's right here. Oh, Lee. this is the case. Look um, that it comes. I love those cases. Uh, they're really with. good. So it's like a. Um, I was going to say it's a semi-hard case, but I, every time I say those words, I'm waiting for <laughs> Mr. Honore to giggle. So let's have a little look Semi inside. What's inside? Ooh. Actually, it's, yeah. it's stiffer than you would think. <laughs> he says, waiting for another innuendo. Uh, what stuff do we get with it? I'm let's not saying anything look. at all. Uh, we get some stickers and uh, stuff. That's it. That's Nothing. It. No, it doesn't look like we get any BB King stuff. Learn to play like BB. You were um, in a window yourself, Dirley. I was. In uh, would you like yourself. to just take us through, especially vary tone? Vary tone, most guitar players probably won't be familiar. No, but you have to just explain that to me as well, because I I always have it on. So you've got yes. you've got um, you've got six positions here, right? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, yes. six, and I can never. So position, I always leave it in position yeah, one. Position one is off. Yeah. Uh, and then it's essentially it's a notch filter as you go back. Now um, some of the settings are so notched. <laughs> that it's almost like there's barely like 25% of the signal left. Yeah. So I'm I'm a bit I'm not entirely convinced I've ever found a setting that I like more than position one. Yeah. But I suppose to a certain extent you're probably thinking, you know, you could say the same about Peter Green's Les Paul kind of tone. You know, it's, that's, it's, a, yeah. it's a weird tone in isolation, but actually uh, when he plays it within the right song you know it it, it it works and then we've just got your standard two volumes and two yeah and, and, and three. so let's try let's just try the pickups before we go to the very mm. so this is the neck no pedals you already at all. played more notes than bb did in his entire career <laughs> <then, isn't it? laughs> yeah sorry It sounds just good. Everything. Ebony board as well on a 650 pound guitar. It's nice, man. Uh, it's a bridge. It's just great guitar. Do you know, I, I, I'm sorry to keep. Sorry, no. He just really, go for really it. was. I need to, unique. When I when I was New learning York. to play, he was absolutely of all the. I mean, certainly of all the kings, he was number one for me. Mm -hmm. um, and I almost think of all the of all the blues greats of that era. I, I don't think anybody did it better. But I know it's all well, that's subjective. It, yeah, isn't it? that's I mean, um, Freddie but and I remember Albert and at the time Collins. I think I was learning. Relatively around that time, he did that. Um, he played on a uh, Rattle and Hum, didn't he? The YouTube yeah, 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 yeah. song. And I remember there being this this classic bit of backstage thing, or so, I don't know if it was a, ever caught on camera or if just it was written down or whatever. But apparently the uh, Edge or whatever had tried to explain to BB what the chords yeah, to the he's songs like, were. I don't know. And he's like, I don't, I don't yeah, understand any of that. I don't know. And, and yet, if you see. There's some older footage of BB King being interviewed about his guitar playing technique. And actually, he's got quite a bit of theory. You know, he, he does know 
what he's doing and he talks about the licks it is and the notes he resolves to and it's it's quite you know yeah it's not all just i don't know what's what do you call it like it's, it's not all just self-taught improvised I'm, it, it, yeah i'm sure he definitely knows more than that yeah. anyway anyway I, I like him. or you know he and again if you're 15 years old you know learning to play guitar and you know you're not familiar with uh, some of his stuff just like oh my goodness me now it's all this tippy tappy stuff and, yeah you know, he's uh, he is just but epic anyway, sorry Pete. So let's, it's fine man you you are you're in love here so that's I fine do. here's a here's a g on the on the first uh, setting here's the second setting it's almost like it splits to pick up right but i think it gets increasingly unusable as you go on. I mean, in this one, you, ne you almost go like a... It's almost got that sort of I, I can't think of a... I can't think of a single BB King tone that's anything other than position one on the very tone. Oh. So cocked while that, isn't it? Like yeah. Hello? I know. He must have played that lick many times. Here is the last position. I mean, that, that is the position one. I'm not sure. And he never really used any pedals as such. It was more about the like, boost. Didn't say he reckoned he used a boost pedal or something into the amp. But yeah, I mean, let's try. Screamer. Let's just try. It's two screamer. Metal zone. Like, I think yeah. that was the uh... a BB zone. <sighs> so hey, let's just a try a idea. bit of. Wow! I, I remember for years thinking that the exotic BB drive or something oh, was, was something, <laughs> but it's a blues breaker, isn't it? As opposed to. in the day when you were playing on stages with really loud amplifiers near yeah. you that it was just a feedback thing and you could maybe. just you know it was almost like a very practical solution for getting rid of feedback maybe. tell you what but there must be somebody in the comment section below no this is what it's for and who made it yeah. in this and i'm because that's all sure, i could so. find on the internet i could see i could find things that told you electronically what the circuit was doing but never like what why did you need it to do that no um, I, I, yeah, it's, it, you know it's um it's, i'm sure it's usable in It, it's an amazing mm. guitar to play. I almost think as it well, maybe you're not really, a BB really fan. Good. Maybe you're not a fan of the blues. Um, maybe you're just, you're just looking at this guitar going, it looks cool. Maybe I could play some, you know, look at players like Dave Grohl. Who, who yeah, would yeah. have thought that Trini Lopez would ever have had a signature guitar used in a heavy yeah, rock yeah. band? Absolutely. Uh, but, so the fact that maybe it's got no F-holes, it reminds me a little bit also of the Emily Wolf sort of signature uh, yeah, yeah, Sheraton yeah. as well but um, anyway give it a give it a bit of a <laughs>
I mean, that's fun, isn't it? You're so not used to tune, being able to tune down here on a Gibson, are you? It's like, no, you know, it's sort of, but anyway. Anyway, so look, um, little epic deal on these guitars. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure I know why uh, Epiphone did the deal, but um, maybe, I said, maybe, maybe it is. I said, line. maybe. Sure. Maybe. <laughs> um, so there you are. Treat yourself whilst we've got them. We've got a few. Uh, links will be below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Uh, international shipping is available. Uh, and we shall see you in another video soon. Like and subscribe. <laughs>